Hey guys, my name is Natalie. And my name is Mary. This is College Alumni Day 2022. We're gonna be interviewing some of our alumni. Follow us. Like to take this opportunity to welcome all of our alumni back to Columbus Alternative High School. This is a very exciting time for us here at COS. This is an opportunity for us to see all of our school children come back home and share their experiences uh, of success, share, give us updates on what they're doing. And this is a time that our staff is extremely excited because this is the fruit of their labor. And so we're very, very glad to welcome now I think of close to 100 students that signed up to be a part of this auspicious occasion. COS has prepared me for college, um, more so academically this first semester actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was and that's because I went to COS and the things that I went through and like in the classes and stuff I did at COS so that was really helpful. It's also helped me um, understand that I am my own person even though I'm at a college of over 60,000 people I want to say so um, it's helped me just to know that I am my own person and that I can be me um, and yeah hello my name is Shannon I graduated in 2012 and three words that I want to use to describe my cause experience the first one will be very progressive the second one will be challenging and the third one will be rewarding some values that I learned as a cause student um, were really about the importance of being a lifelong learner, one, just being curious, curious, open-minded, deep thinking, critical thinking about big questions, um, and also to be really value, to value like diverse thinking and to value different opinions and different backgrounds and just right like the impact that can have on your thinking and also on your life and just like opening up your knowledge of the world and those are things that I for sure bring into my classroom and conversations that I have with students those are things that I still value and that I hope are you know passed along through through being a teacher here and I also think that building relationships with students is something that I've learned is really important because the relationships that I have with the teachers here, some of them used to be my teachers and I know how important it is to build strong relationships with your students and I carry that forward. My name is Eric Miles. I am an HR business partner manager for Cardinal Health here locally in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I graduated 25 years ago. That's crazy. Uh, so class of 1997. Uh, my core takeaways from being here at COS and my experience really stems from a quote that I learned here. I don't remember if it was Emerson or not, but I do remember the quote. It says, um, it's easy in the world to live after the world's opinion. It's easy in the world to live after our own, but the great man is he who in the midst of a crowd keeps with per perfect sweetness the independence of solitude. So for me, my journey for cause can be summed up in learning how to be an independent contributor uh, to any environment, uh, any community, my sphere of influences, and really learning how to be com comfortable and confident uh, in being who I am, uniquely created, and to be able to contribute at various levels uh, to be able to make an impact and an imprint uh, no matter where I am placed at. That's really my big takeaway from cause it teaches you how to stand on your own two feet how to be unique because when you come in those doors for the first time you see all these amazing unique individuals um, who you've never seen before who come from different parts of life uh, and it just gives you a safe space to be you and so that that's my journey that's my experiences those are my core takeaways my name is Levi Harrison graduating class of 2018 and the three words I would use to describe cause are fundamental grueling and creative my name is Offman. I currently attend New York University and I'm studying game design and development. Uh, my biggest regret uh, while I was attending college, I'd say, is to not in, I didn't think I enjoyed it in the moment. You know, I think I was, you know, too caught up in it. But now that I'm back here and I have all the memories and I'm seeing everybody, you know, I, I kind of miss it and, you know, I wish I would have enjoyed it more. So if I could say one thing, you know, just enjoy your time in high school because it does fly by. Right. My name is Tim, class of 2020, and I go to OSU right now. I would say, 
the biggest challenge during COVID, graduating that year, was staying focused on my work, knowing I, it was up to me moving to online. So just finding that balance and finding the motivation to finish through. Okay, my name is Renata Peterson. I am class of 2000, and I currently am a contract specialist for DSCC, or Department of Defense, uh, Defense Logistics Agency, whatever you want to call it. Um, and where COS prepared me the most after I got out of high school, I feel like it, it was always a motivational factor of, of perfectionism. So humanities was the thing that let me know that I could pretty much be or do anything as long as I set my mind to something and do something. So even when, because I didn't go to the traditional college after high school, but going there meant that I was soaring above the mundane, as our, uh, our logo says. Um, so that was always the goal. You always was trying to strive to be better and do better. And COS prepared me to do that. And then when I got to college, it was easy because I was already doing college work all through COS. So I knew I was where I was supposed to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the COS alumni that came today on behalf of the senior leadership teams, the stories that you guys told. It's so important that we hear those stories and other people who went through the same struggle that we go to, other people that transcended the mundane. And you guys are always welcome back here at COS where excellence is the standard, not the exception.